God bless your bones, America. I'm your host, the Right Reverend David Clark, and I'm more than happy to come into your home today and to declare the blessings of God in your life. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the blessings of God make it rich and addeth no sorrow. You can't make me doubt it. I know that God is in the blessing business. My prayer for you is that God's eternal purpose will be manifested in your life as you continue to walk worthy of the vocation wherein ye have been called. Yes, my beloved, God has a blessing for us today. And this is the time to claim your promise. This is the season to claim your blessings. Don't let nothing turn you around. Don't let your mama, don't let your daddy, don't let your friends, don't let the doctor, don't let the attorney, don't let nobody fool you today. God is real. And I know he's real because he's real to me. Matter of a fact, he woke me up this morning and started me on my way. And I know that there is no secret what God can do for what he's done for others, he will do for you. I'm excited today. I'm so happy today. I'm glad today for my precious guest, Miss the mayor of Bridgeville, Pennsylvania. Yes, Miss Betsy Colin, Coleman, Cop Copeland, Whew. excuse me. And I'm so excited to have her until I'm just messing up her name. Please forgive, <laughs> please forgive me. But I'm extremely happy to have her on this, the show this morning. Welcome to Highway and Hedges Outreach Ministry. Thank you for inviting me to be here today. There are many things that's going on, and I feel that you are one of the most celebrated mayors in Western Pennsylvania. And I had a chance to hear about um, Channel 2 and uh, the other stations that have given you the opportunity to share your experiences. And um, I, I say you're the icon mayor of the season. So again, I, I'd just like to um, welcome you to Highway and Hedges Ministry. It had to be uh, a shocking experience when they called and told you that you're going to be the mayor of Bridgeville. What can you uh, share with us about that moment? It was November 7th, the election night, and about 9.30 that evening, I received a call from the former mayor, Pat de Blasio, and I answered the phone and he said, good evening, Mayor Copeland. And I said, you've gotta be kidding. He said, no, you are now Mayor Copeland elect. And I thought to myself, thank you, Lord, because I never thought that I would win against a man, number one. But I'm glad that the people in Bridgeville saw something in all of my volunteer activities through the years and my service to my church that led them to find something in me that they thought I could bring something good to the office of mayor of Bridgeville. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Um, I know that um, you have plans 
and you have goals that you probably have already set and have already started communicating. And that economy in Bridgeville, I know that unemployment is going to change. I know that um, crime is going to change. And I wanted you to share what was your plan of action to address the national uh, emergency opium crisis in Bridgeville? The opioid crisis is first and foremost on our mind, particularly of the chief of the police, Chad King, and Officer Young under him. When we spoke early January about what we could do, the first thought that came to their minds was the takeaway box. And so Officer Young immediately made contact and we had an opioid, I mean, we had the takeaway box delivered to us early this month and it has been installed in the lobby of the police department. It's actually bolted to the floor. You can bring your items there, all your old prescriptions, which will keep them out of the hands of people that might abuse them or uh, otherwise improperly ingest them. And it will also provide a safe place so that other people cannot get a hold of them. Uh, the lobby will be open like from 8 to 4.30, but you can also call the police department and make certain of the times. And they'll also be posted at some point in our Bridgeville quarterly newsletter, which will be coming out. And the chief is the only one that will have the key that can open this box when it needs to be emptied. And then right. the uh, prescriptions will be properly stored until they're then taken by the counter drug agency and then disposed of in a proper manner. So we're very thankful for the swift action of our police department in that endeavor. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. Um, I know recently uh, they have communicated about how children, uh, young adults, uh, are experiencing or are now taking, like being introduced to opium. Um, do you have any thoughts on that in terms of, um, will that plan that you implemented, will it have, will that be implemented in any other places like in, in schools or in libraries for children or youth to get rid of prescriptions? Yeah, we, everything will be brought to the police department, but we will have materials available for people to study. We will have uh, brochures and things at our library that will make people more aware of our agencies that also can uh, inform them and help with the opioid crisis. Beautiful. Now, I want the audience to know that um, April the 2nd, um, Miss Betty Copeland will be receiving the Distinguished Black History Achievement Award 2018 at the uh, Pittsburgh Marriott Airport Hotel April the 2nd, and that everyone um, is, everyone who's available would have an opportunity to come and see that beautiful moment that we're going to have at the Pittsburgh Marriott Airport Hotel. Um, let me ask you this. I know that, um, for an example, um, we're going to show you a, no, we're not going to do that. But um, were there any other personalities that had an impact on you accepting the um, the role as mayor? Well, I guess primarily my husband. He was born in Bridgeville, worked there, and he, when he retired in 1987 from the Bridgeville Post Office as postmaster, he ran for Bridgeville Borough Council. 
and he served one term on council and he always felt that the community had given so much to him throughout his life that he wanted to give back and he volunteered in many of the agencies in Bridgeville and uh, was well re well respected in the community and <clears throat> and I just felt well I never expected to be mayor right I mean that was never <clears throat> in the plan but when these three people took me out to lunch and said um, we think that you would be a good goodwill ambassador <clears throat> excuse me for the town I said I'll pray about it Beautiful. and uh, my friend and I we prayed about it and I decided that yes maybe I would have something that I could offer I really wanted to promote more volunteering in the community we have agencies that need need help like the Southwest Meals on Wheels program our Bridgeville Area Food Bank our historical society all these need more people to become involved and that's what I want to do encourage people to become more involved in these agencies that need help not only uh, financial help but they need some physical attendance as well beautiful beautiful well we we thank God for this opportunity to um, share with our audience what God is doing in your life and how he's blessing you and how we're going to have your back, our spiritual support and prayers for you. I, I'm encouraging, I think it's a big challenge and I think that um, everybody needs to come together and um, push and support the things that you're doing and that you plan to do. I'm sure you have many more plans, mm -hmm. but you may not get a chance to communicate all of them. But again, we thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing your heart. I know that we plan to, um, well, I know that um, we had the first Black History Achievement Hall of Magnum Opus that we will be um, nominating and bringing in your husband um, as an inductee for that particular endeavor. So uh, you want to be at our ceremony April the 2nd at the Pittsburgh Marriott Airport Hotel. It will be a beautiful experience and you don't want to miss it. Again, thank you so much for uh, listening and and opening up your heart to our guest, the mayor of Bridgeville, Betty Coleman. <laughs>